He's involved in his second. Whether in winning two unification fights. And then now a Hall of Famer. Abs to the body. First among welterweights, throws sixth per round, second among welterweights. So he has to go as well with this. I'm going to look for the fight. And right now we're seeing a little bit of jab of Spence. There's Ugas known for that hardy for Spence. Spence six for Ugas. So that was not a moment. Spence obviously. Oh, and and that's, that's that something that Ugas is really good. Actually, to, to counterpunch a jab. Last time Spence lost was in the two. Bronze medal at the tooth is that right hand. Spence, this is his third fight at 84 outings. And immediately they stabs. Half the amount of punches has ended a couple more. Now, that big counter puncher in that first round and pulled him back straight to waiting for Spence moments and who got with the countering. Brooke, and then order the common opponent decision. September 29th, strap, Ugas lost a highly contentious split decision. The thing they have in common is that both those fights were sure thin and great effort in both fights, well through eight uh, matches. Spence landed a left hand up here in the second. There's a Yeah, really sharp shooting right now from just jab straight to the body. There we go. Basics, but it's really good. And Spence looking to put Ugas on his back foot. Ugas guard and smiling and of the truth. One of the 32 punches in this round. He's oh. been very... That's a chance to land an uppercut. Well, very interesting that you said that. It's an up... Round at number three. Coming to who's making mistakes right now. Errol Spence really setting up that oh, jump to the body. He'll, he'll throw it to the body here and then they'll yeah. put it right back to theirs. Yeah, who got some over though trying to land that uppercut. Oh, uh, score with that right cross to high level. He did chess between Spence and Ugas. And Spence now beginning to, again, the high guard of Ugas blocking all of them. A short left uppercut. Got he's a tough man to deal with, and that's what he's doing right now. And right there is when you know what he's thinking. He's left, he saw he didn't land. Again, Spence in the left hook behind, and again, Ugas from distance looking to land the uppercut. Fight, and uh, he hopes that that pays dividends. That's, that scores, left hand lands, another left, and another left. And really, Spence muting offense here in the third round out. Getting off first on almost too much. And there's that right hook, and yeah, I said a double right hook, he did a... Us again gets popped as Spence splits back with a combination. A thunderous right hand and another end. Spence has been down as a round. Proven to be a thriller as Ugas in a toe. Hey! Still on his right hey, hey, man. There's more indication. Fun. That land is for Ugas toward the end of that round. It's Lee Salas saying do more of that. But it can't be overstated. What it to go through each other for even more glory. Yeah, it's a very good point. I'm trying to throw more of those rights. Spence is a better chance to, to land. Way better chance. Spence is the aggressive. Has Uga stuck back with anything, so Spence has to keep that volume. And Spence, and blocking, avoiding that left, but Spence beginning to really find a rhythm. It, 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 it didn't quite get more of it. Oh, that was a little low, but right to the face, and now Spence going really I'd work that I'm liking right now yeah and has that sufficient distance for Ugas 12 of his 27 off and everything he felt and they said as they got close to his fight he said we got it to in camp 12 weeks and his last three fights it's his last knockout in faculty the star in Frisco Carlos Ocampo we were there uh, up in June of 2018 that's of a career-long 11 fight KO streak Yes, yes. counter opportunity was right him. there. He's who got, and he drew the ire of Derek James when said, Vance isn't the same since the car accident. Mm -hmm. And now, of course, coming back from the die, and, and Abner is zooming to be an even better version of himself. What do you think so far? Uh, I'm seeing it. I mean, when was the last physical body? He is prepared, grit, he's ready for this fight. So those are little things that you... First time using a nutritionist. Yes. Yep. Left uppercut, right hook, and again.
So the condition is going to be there. You're going to... Ugas getting, oh. absorbing the shot. Oh, and there's a right hook to the... Backing up. It takes it, even if Spence misses by... It. And those were three good yeah. punches. They were... Look at the rhythm that now. It's a really nice... Left in the fifth. You know, Ugas is fighting a chest-to-chest head down. Wow. That may not answer for him. Well, this is the best right now. Ugas fight. But Spence beginning to break down Ugas. And I keep saying, he throws one, you throw one of his. Despite the fact that you know that there are levels to this, and Ugas now trying to fire back, but he'll... And he's not there. Yeah, where's it? On the inside, like a phone boot, that's not... You're going to choose for that oh, there's a... And the lack mm -hmm. of big issue right yes. now. Combination by Ugas. Spence did cut Lance for the... Truth, Errol Spence, and now Ugas tries to, and does so to the body. Mm. Fantastic fifth. The opportunity back, trying to get success back, and look where it's probably the, the very close a loss to uh, Sean Porter mixed in there. He is now at a, at a pivotal point. He is making something happen in this fight. Yeah, he's trying, but it's aim Ugas that I am, always am. You can't. You got to change one of you. Well, he's he's cutting the distance. He's getting too close. He's but again, Uga Snyder, he's been here before. You, you got to know how to change the... the and they're just standing right in front of each other. That right hand hurts. Spence, Spence is sitting. Uga. Wow. A momentary lapse in judgment. Smiling. Some drama from oh, yeah. your Dennis Uga. And really the first time adversity in a long time. Yeah, he's never been down there. Never been down. I don't think I've ever seen yeah. him. Almost looked not felt to getting his feet back under. When he waits for the opportunity. I, I wonder if it out and there, there was this mm. quick press coming back, but it definitely seemed to break the concentration of Spence. And Spence trying to come back into the round here. The ebb and flow of two of the best. in store for us for the second of this champion. Ugas has won. Terrence Crawford has the other. Our unofficial score of the Hall of Famer, Steve Farhood. Well, a uh, uh, punch that hurt, clearly hurt Spence. The first round, I agree, did not rule that the ropes kept happened. I gave it to Spence. He was winning each round since by a bigger margin till the sixth. Smiling, his face. Come back in this round for Errol Spence, really. Guys, it's incumbent upon him to do something. Yeah. Spence continues to work to keep him at bay jab, but Spence able to close the distance. And now Ugas staggers him momentarily with the right, but Spence go body with the front of Ugas. I mean, Spence. which nearly swelled shut again, walking down Ugas, landing the left uppercut right to the body. And I mean... Here's Spence, worked the body, ripped the body, uppercuts. I mean, the punches are going... As good of a guard that Ugas has, though, has simply not thrown a lot of punch of note because he's not... He's, he's dormant offensively. Meanwhile, they've combined to three are in the opening minute of the eighth, and Spence left hand over the... Breaking his momentum... Spence going right there. hook. The variety of yeah. punches and the variety of the combination of Spence. Just his punches, uppercut, body shot, hook, body. I mean, this guy, those punches come in because they're coming. Spence Jr. showing explicitly this kind of crowd in a venue this size. He is putting on how much longer with this kind of assault by Errol Spence Jr. Spence has laid eight punches in this round, and, and, and it's over for kind of what he's throwing. And he's, it is all one-way traffic <laughs> for Errol slowing his legs after he is up. For the couple of rounds, he has one punch, and guess what? Spence comes back for four with four or five punches. 
Welton fight between two Bellier and Denise Ugas is in a tenuous position at this muffing him with strikes. We mentioned how well Ugas has done against lefty in one record, but tonight, uh, if that's the major factor, it's just Spence has been around for Spence. If he continues to so effectively, and especially look. in that out. I hate to say, but. Clubbing right hooks down the middle. And he continues to tailly to fend off. Needed to do it, but this round he's used way and better. And those right hooks natural, really. <laughs> of your Denny Zuga's four defeats were by split decision. He's in hand against Spence in the body. Dream. Final minute of the ninth. And back comes Zugas with a body. But as you mentioned, Al. Yeah, that's for him to land. As he's, he's been a staple. 147 and to your Denis Uga in the closing seconds of the ninth. 11. As you mentioned, Fechter, he's landing for everything other than the jab. He normally lands 47. I'm sorry, he normally lands. Right to the button. Knockout pass round. It is looking more and more likely that he is going to have to land something major. It's in trouble. Yeah, yeah, he's hurt. Yeah. And a reminder to people mm -hmm. oh. And you wonder just how much now for your Denny Zorb. I don't think much by now. Well, well it, fires up. the eye almost comes, the right eye almost. And it's Junior intent on shutting down the title reign of your Denny Zorb. Here you go, you can't see. Yeah, you can't see. Yeah, you can't see.